Connecting your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway device is easy. In just a few minutes, you'll be up and running and relaxing. Let's start by going over what you'll need. Your desktop, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Now, let's go over what's in your self-install kit. Your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway, a coax cable, a power cable, an ethernet cable, and quick start instructions. Please take note of the two SSIDs and pre-shared key on the bottom label. You'll need them during the installation process. So let's begin. First, connect one end of the coax cable into an active cable outlet. If you had previous cox service, use the same outlet where that device was connected. Now, look on the back of your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway device. Do you see the coax port? Connect the other end of the coax cable into that. If you have phone service, you can install your phone line into the TEL1 port. Finished? Excellent! Now, simply plug the power cord into an electrical outlet and the other end into the power port on the back of your gateway. Be sure to avoid outlets tied to a dimmer or on-off switch. Once it's plugged in and powering on, it may take up to 10 minutes to fully update and activate before it's ready to proceed to the next step. It's common for the device to come online and then reboot. When the online light is on and solid, you're ready to connect to your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway. So let's get started. If you want to directly connect to the panoramic Wi-Fi gateway, use the ethernet cable to connect your computer to one of the ethernet ports on the back of your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway. For wireless, open the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Select one of the two network names, SSID, shown on the label on the bottom of your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway. For the password, use the key labeled pre-shared at the bottom of the device. That should connect you to the network. Now it's just a matter of confirming your connection. If you're directed to an activation page, just follow the prompts on the screen to complete the process. You're good to go. For security purposes, we recommend choosing a new network name and password using the Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi app or accessing MyWiFi on the MyAccountCox.com page. Choose names that are unique and easy to remember. Achieve the highest level of customization and control by downloading the Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi app on your mobile device and sign in with your Cox login. To connect your other devices to the network, follow the same steps. Enjoy! If your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway still isn't up and running, we've provided some helpful solutions and resources. Have you waited 10 minutes since plugging in your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway? If so, a quick reboot might fix it. Unplug the power cord from the wall. Wait about 10 seconds, then plug it back in. It may take a few minutes to fully reset. Make sure all connections are tight and completely plugged in. The cable outlet you're using might be inactive. Try connecting your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway to another cable outlet in your home. Still having problems or questions? Check out these resources.